Today, all politics is local, but this election year, the presidential election has been sucking all the air out of the room. There are some local races down ballot getting pretty heated as well, though. Here's Local 24 News weekend anchor Annette Pegler. The gloves are finally coming off in some of these local races, but some candidates I spoke to say enough is enough. It's unethical, it is unfair, it is fraudulent, and, and uh, has absolutely nothing to do with me and everything to do with my opponent. Representative John DeBerry is referring to several signs that have popped up at early voting locations linking him with the President Trump campaign. DeBerry was recently voted out of the Democratic Party, so he's running as an independent. I, my campaign and, and the President's campaign have absolutely uh, no association or correlation. Democratic opponent Tory Harris denies any involvement. His campaign statement says DeBerry should be less concerned about a sign and more concerned about if he is still continuing to properly represent his constituents. But that's not the only race turning ugly. Negative mailers are also being distributed about District 83 state rep candidate Jerry Green. She's challenging Republican Mark White and recently saw a picture of her surrounded by fire, accusing her of being anti-law enforcement. They took a picture of mine that I took walking in the Germantown Christmas parade with another state representative. I was there passing out candy with my children, a very wholesome event, and they've made it look like there's riots and fires behind me. The ad was paid for by the House Republican Caucus, and Representative White says he has nothing to do with the ad and has ran a clean campaign. We need to have common sense and compassion back in our government, and we need to restore public faith in our public officials. We cannot do that with these cartoonish ads. Negative ads and unflattering pictures are nothing new, but these candidates plan to remain respectful. I'm worried about the process that when that our elections become uh, nothing more than a circus, uh, which is where we're heading at this particular moment. In Memphis, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.